Today, day 19. I just wanted to show you this book before I started my inchy. I just picked this up at Michael's yesterday, and uh, it's so good. It's just exactly what I need. It's like a bit of a an inspiration and a push to get my mixed media, my art back. Look at this cool picture. Look at this. This book is so good. It, uh, well, it shows you lessons on how to do each painting. I talk more about this in my upcoming vlog if you're more interested. But anyway, I loved her third eye. Well, I like this design. So I said, I'm going to do that in my inchy today. And then I had just did my eye for yesterday's NG. And I looked at this and I go, oh my goodness, that's her third eye. That's the third eye. And if you don't know what the third eye is, we all have the third eye in the center of our head. And apparently it is blocked by fluoride. Did you guys know that? Because we drink fluoride in our water. So our perception, it blocks the uh, whatever it is. It's a nerve base to make your third eye function better. Who knew? Anyway, so I want to do that little image right there. So let's see if I can do it. And you see the dots on the eyelashes like I did on my picture? I was a copycatter, sure was. Anyway, so that's what I want to try to make. So it's a circle, triangle, circle, triangle. Hmm, I should be able to do that. Okay, I've been going through my craft room trying to find circles that are a good size for tracing. So I've got some Chroma Crackle paint. That lid should be good for my first circle. Most of them are too big or too small. So let's try this one. Try and get it centered. And we'll just trace around this puppy. Whoa. Without it moving. And of course, using a pencil. Because then you can correct any of your boo-boos okay funny how i get everything always left to the left <laughs> so this series i'm not doing it over either because i'm not that concerned about things being exactly where they should be because it is where it's meant to be now i have to do a triangle so i guess i'll use a little ruler or a big ruler and just start at the very tip of the vortex of the circle. Don't I sound smart? Vortex? I don't even know what that means. I just thought, I think it's where two lines cross. I think. Oh, that's not straight, Monica. Circle. Okay, so it was circle, triangle, circle, triangle. This third eye is about as crooked as Dick's hat band, as my mother would say. Dick was his friend of my grandma's, and his hat band on his hat was always crooked. And that saying just, oh my goodness. Some of the things that my mom says, and they make no sense to anybody else, but we laugh so hard. So crooked as Dick's hat band, sure he is. Now this circle's going to be hard to find something tiny enough. The challenges of inchy art. Oh, how about this Sharpie lid? Okay, I did it, as good as I can do it. I did the big circle, then the triangle, then the little circles fitting in there, but it's not exactly a circle, and the upside down triangle. Because I mean, I think it means something. So now I am going to take my um, pens and color in whatever is supposed to be colored in. And pretty much, it's just this triangle around the little circle, around the big triangle, and around the big circle. Okay, the middle upside down triangle with a brush tip pin. It is so quiet in my house right now. This is why we love doing art, because I mean, it's, listen. 
silence. Richard's upstairs working on his, and I'm down here. This is so good for you. And there's supposed to be curly cues on either side, but of course if I had moved this over, the curly cues would be much better. So I'll just try to make a curly cue here like so. And then another little, well, it's not really a curly cue there. And then another one about like here, like so. And a little dot in the middle. And we'll just match it up on the other side. Like so. And like so. And a dot in the middle. See? And then I think what I'm going to do is maybe right on this side to make it a little bit more, um, I'm going to make some little stars and it'll just balance it better. So I'll do it with pencil first. And I'll put two of them over here and that will balance it. Okay, so go over them in pen, you know, because it was a little crooked. And then I'm just going to take my Distress Ink. Actually, I should erase these pencil lines. And just a little tip, erase gently when you're erasing stuff because you don't want to smear up something that you've worked hard on, you know what I mean? And ink around. And that's it for today. So there's my third eye. You know what? I'm closing this circle off even though it's not correctly a circle. Okay, I thought I was happy with the black and white because that's what the lady had on her cover, but I am not. I want to make this big circle around here red. I don't know why. I just, it was, I was looking at it, looking at it, I'm like, nope. Red is calling me right here. So that's what I'm going to do. And you see, that's exactly, I think, what she was saying about you look at something, you're inspired by it, but you don't do exactly the same thing as you see because sometimes it just doesn't feel like you. And that did not feel like me at all. It was too black and white. So you saw the little dots I added all around. And I'm just using these Martha Stewart pens, the ones that I found in my mom's stash. These are lovely, by the way. I don't even know if you can still buy them, but if you can, I would. They really are nice. There, I like that a hundred million times better. And then I'm gonna get another color. And color the inside of the other circle, I'm coloring it teal because teal is the color for trigeminal neuralgia and right now I'm having trigeminal neuralgia pain. Not that coloring this is going to help my pain, but just a little um, you know. And then I think I'll color that triangle yellow. I'm loving these pens, loving them. They're so vibrant and bright. And then we can just leave that background. Um, oh, it actually looks like an eyeball now. Isn't that funny? Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, inchy for day 19. 
I love how it turned out. I love that I colored it. And yeah, I went with my own thing. And even though it was a little off center at first, by putting the little stars on the right side and just one on the left, it sort of balances the um, off centerness a little bit. So there is my inchy for today. I hope you guys like it. And Richard will be ready pretty soon with his and then I'll close off this video. So here is Richard's square for day 18 and it's a shield and it represents the shield of faith fighting off all the negativities in the world like materialism, anxiety, lies, depression and discouragement. So that's what this is. And then today, we just had a really lazy day. We both stayed home all day, drinking tea and coffee and crafting and knitting, watching TV, watching football games. So that represents today. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. And we're sorry we were a day late, both of us. But we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>